Steel is a widely used and immensely strong material that forms the backbone of many industrial and construction applications. But what happens when this durable metal encounters certain acids that can corrode, weaken, or even dissolve it? Today, we look closer at how acids can melt steel, explore the concepts of acids and bases, and discuss some of the most prominent acids that can corrode steel. Let's start with a basic overview of the chemical concepts of acids and bases. Acids. Acids are substances that can release hydrogen ions, H, when dissolved in water. This process results in a solution with a low pH, typically below 7. Acids can be identified by their sour taste and are capable of reacting with metals such as steel, producing hydrogen gas and various metal salts. Bases. Bases, on the other hand, are substances that accept hydrogen ions. They have a pH above 7 and can neutralize acids through a chemical reaction called neutralization. Bases can counteract the effects of acids, but in the context of this video, we'll primarily focus on acids and their impact on steel. The strength of an acid depends on its ability to donate hydrogen ions. Strong acids are those that fully dissociate in water, releasing all their hydrogen ions, while weak acids only partially dissociate, producing fewer hydrogen ions. Acids that can corrode steel. Now that we have a good grasp of the basics, let's take a closer look at some specific acids that have the potential to corrode steel. Hydrochloric acid, HCl. This acid is one of the most common and widely used in both industry and research. When hydrochloric acid comes into contact with steel, it reacts with the metal, producing iron chloride and hydrogen gas. This reaction can weaken the steel over time and cause it to dissolve if exposure is prolonged. Sulfuric acid, H2SO4. Another strong acid that is known for its corrosive properties is sulfuric acid, H2SO4. It reacts with steel to form iron sulfate and hydrogen gas. The ongoing reaction can compromise the integrity of the steel, leading to potential structural issues. Nitric acid, HNO3. Now let's discuss nitric acid, HNO3, a powerful oxidizing agent. It reacts with steel to form iron nitrate and water. Although the reaction is relatively slow compared to other acids, it can gradually weaken the steel over time. Aqua regia. The next destructive acid is aqua regia, which is a highly corrosive mixture of hydrochloric acid and nitric acid in a 3 to 1 ratio. It can dissolve even noble metals such as gold and platinum, as well as corrode steel. The aggressive nature of aqua regia makes it particularly destructive. Hydrofluoric acid, HF. Lastly, hydrofluoric acid, HF, is a weak acid, but it can be highly corrosive to steel due to its ability to penetrate the protective oxide layer on the metal's surface. This acid can cause significant damage to steel structures if left unchecked. We've seen how powerful acids can be, even strong enough to melt steel. But what if there were materials that could completely repel these acidic threats? To understand how this might be possible, let's take a quick detour and check out this video on hydrophobic coating. To see how scientists are using ultra-tiny structures to create super water repellent surfaces. This concept holds the key to developing similar coatings that could repel even the harshest acids. Why acids corrode steel? But what causes this reaction? Let's dive in. Acids corrode steel because of a chemical reaction that happens when the acid meets the iron in the steel. Essentially, when an acid makes contact with steel, it donates hydrogen ions to the iron atoms. This process creates a metal salt, like iron chloride, and also releases hydrogen gas. As the acid continues to react with the steel, it gradually dissolves the metal, causing it to weaken and eventually melt away. This process can vary in speed depending on the strength of the acid and the conditions of the reaction. Protective measures against corrosion. So, what can we do to protect steel from acid corrosion and extend its lifespan? There are several preventive measures you can take to protect steel from acid corrosion and extend its lifespan. Coatings. First, coatings are a great option. Applying protective coatings such as paint, enamel, or galvanization, zinc coating, can shield steel from acids and prevent corrosion. These coatings act as a barrier, keeping acids away from the steel. Another method is alloying. 
Alloying is the process of adding other metals, such as chromium, to steel to enhance its properties. For example, stainless steel contains chromium, which helps resist acid corrosion and protects the metal from rust and degradation. Material Selection In terms of material selection, choosing acid-resistant materials such as stainless steel can be a smart decision, especially in environments where acids are prevalent. Selecting the right type of steel for specific applications is key. What if you're in an industrial setting where acid exposure is inevitable? In industrial settings, where acid exposure is unavoidable, acid neutralization systems can be used to minimize the impact of acids on steel. Neutralizing acids help prevent corrosion and extend the life of steel equipment. Finally, proper maintenance is key to preventing acid corrosion. Regularly inspecting and maintaining steel structures and equipment can help identify early signs of corrosion. By addressing issues promptly, you can avoid further damage and extend the life of steel. Understanding how acids interact with steel is crucial for protecting structures and equipment from corrosion. By taking preventive measures and using the appropriate materials, you can extend the life of your steel components and maintain their strength and durability. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this content and want to stay updated on the latest in the world of physics and beyond, make sure to subscribe to Physics Daily. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss an episode. And if you think someone else would enjoy this video, share it with them, too. Until next time, keep exploring the wonders of science with us here at Physics Daily.